welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. 4.53 a.m. I'm headed to boot camp as always. I am filming today's video on Monday and Monday is a boot camp day. You didn't know my birthday was on Saturday. Troy's birthday is on Friday. My birthday was on Saturday. Our anniversary was on Friday. We actually got married on Troy's birthday and our birthdays are one day apart, which is kind of crazy. So we had an entire weekend of celebration birthday cake. We went out for dinner for my birthday. Troy brought, bought me a beautiful bouquet of flowers. I got a huge bouquet from my boot camp group, received a small bouquet, which was beautiful from Clean Simple Eats. Just a fantastic weekend of celebration. So I'm excited to be back to normal, so to speak, normal food. Also back to my working out. I mean, I didn't miss a beat with boot camp and the gym. I was on point the entire week and weekend with working out, but it feels good to have kind of the celebrations over at least for a couple days since Thanksgiving is tomorrow when you see this video. I also put out a video on Sunday where I talked about some changes coming here to my channel. Also talked about Weight Watchers and whether I am going to be moving forward with that and the results of my DEXA scan. So I'll link that video if you missed it. That way you're kind of caught up and a lot of the food that I'm eating today will make a little bit more sense after that video. I am already hungry. I have been up since about 3.30. I couldn't sleep. I think I'm in perimenopause. I really do because my sleep has been very weak the last few months. I'm not experiencing any other perimenopause system symptoms that I'm aware of other than the sleep issue. So I don't know. My cycle is still very regular, unfortunately, but I, I have a feeling that's what it is. I actually brought that up to my friend Kate at boot camp and she said, welcome to perimenopause. So I have a feeling these sleep issues are relating to that. So I'm a little bit tired. I'm already hungry. So I'm definitely going to make some breakfast when I get home from boot camp. We are going to run a few errands today. We had tour day Tucson, which is a big biking tour in Tucson and where I live over the weekend. So there was a lot of traffic. And because it was my birthday weekend, and we were busy with other things. I didn't get to run the errands that I typically like to run. So we're gonna do that a little bit later this morning as well. And yeah, we just have a busy day full of really good food. So hopefully you're excited. If you are, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday. And check out Nutrition Coaching and my Facebook group down below. So I'm pulling in, let me grab my mat, my weights, and I'll be back at breakfast. Okay, I'm home from boot camp and I am so hungry. And I'm gonna be sharing something with you that's new to me. I actually saw this on Instagram and I bought everything for it and I'm excited to try it out. So we're gonna make kind of a savory breakfast. So you're going to need chicken sausage of your choice. I'm using the Trader Joe's garlic and herb chicken sausage. I'm actually going to cook up all four of these. I'm gonna make a big batch of this because I think because Troy will eat this too. So my rule of thumb when I'm using more than one sausage, but I only want to eat one sausage, is just count the number of sausage pieces that you get from each link, say 10, and that way when you serve it out, just make sure you're not serving yourself more than 10 sausage pieces. So pro tip on how to not overdo the sausage. And then I'm gonna be using the holiday vegetable hash from Trader Joe's. This is butternut squash, sweet potato, red onion, celery, parsley, sage, and rosemary, so it is pre-cut up, ready to go. And then I'm going to throw in some eggs for some extra protein. And I'm going to cook this all up kind of skillet style. I'm pretty excited for this. It's going to be a good amount of protein. We have a healthy carb in the butternut squash and the sweet potatoes, and then even more protein in the sausage. So it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited about it. So let's make up the hash. And then I'll share with you my outfit of the day because I already know I'm going to get questions on this shirt. I got a lot of questions on the shirt that I wore on my birthday. I'll go ahead and pop a picture in here for you. They're all from the same company. I'm going to share my outfit of the day with you as soon as we're done with breakfast. So I went ahead and added the holiday hash to a skillet and I'm just going to start cooking this down over medium heat. I want the squash and the sweet potato to be about 75% cooked before I add in my chopped sausage. It smells like Thanksgiving. That's how good this holiday hash smells. The sweet potatoes and butternut squash are about 75% cooked. So I did dice my sausage up. I got 11 slices per link. So I'll make sure when I dish up my plate that I take 11 of the sausage slices and that equals one link. That really is the best way to make sure that you're tracking accurately and that you're staying within the portion. Then I'm going to add in four eggs and just kind of scramble those in with the sausage and the hash. I also did add a little bit of salt and pepper. 
So here is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and dish up one serving. So this makes four servings total. So it'll be one egg, one sausage, and a fourth of the hash. So here is my breakfast. This is a good amount. I have 11 little rounds of sausage. I'm really excited for this. Lots of veggies, lots of protein. Let's definitely taste test it, see what we think. Okay, let's test this out. It smells, like I said, literally like Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna get some sausage, some eggs, some holiday hash. Cheers. Mmm. All of those flavors come through with the sage and the rosemary. And then choosing the garlic sausage was a really good choice because then it adds that little punch of garlic. It's really, really delicious. And this is a good amount. Lots of protein, veggies, healthy carbs. Definitely recommend. As promised, let me share with you my outfit of the day, starting with my jewelry. I did go ahead and treat myself to some new jewelry. You know I love Ana Luisa. I have several of their pieces, everything from earrings to necklaces to rings, bracelets. The quality is absolutely outstanding. They are a carbon neutral company, so you can rest assured when you purchase from them that you're not impacting the environment in a negative way. The quality of the pieces is outstanding. And I love how dainty yet elevated they are. So I treated myself to three pieces, two necklaces and this beautiful ring right here. I've really gotten into wearing rings on my right hand. So I wanted to pick one up that was simple yet a statement piece. Look at how beautiful this is. It is so simple, but it just really adds to an outfit. This is the rope slim ring. It is a twist ring. You can pick it up in either silver or gold. It is a stainless steel rhodium dipped ring. I love the texture of it. You can wear this by itself or stack it with other rings. I think it is so pretty on the ring finger. You could also wear it on the middle finger as well. You could wear it on the thumb. It just has the perfect look to it that again is simple yet elevated, which is what I love about Ana Luisa jewelry. It is tarnish resistant, hypoallergenic, and it has a two year warranty and it's affordable. So it'd make a great gift for yourself. It would make a great gift for the holiday. One of the necklaces that I picked up is this one here. Like I said, what I love about Ana Luisa is that their jewelry is dainty and I really like that. Sometimes I just want it to be a little bit more simple and I picked up the necklace with my initial J. This is the gold initial necklace. It actually comes in silver and gold. I did decide to go ahead and pick mine up in gold. It's actually recycled sterling silver that's dipped in 14 karat gold and it features this dainty cable link chain and an uppercase initial. And you can wear this alone or layer it with any of your favorite chains. I thought it would be fun to layer with some more chunky chains for that layered effect or just wear it on its own kind of like I am today. In my opinion, this is a great gift for somebody. And because it's personalized, it just makes the gift a little bit more special. And lastly, this necklace. This necklace I felt was perfect as we move into the new year. It is the horseshoe shape for luck. This is the Sue Yan Horseshoe Necklace. It really adds a bit of luxe to an everyday outfit. It's a dainty yet chic piece that features a chain necklace and a horseshoe pendant, both dipped in 14 karat gold. It's engraved with everybody's lucky number seven. It's full of good luck. You can pair this with any of Emma Louise's rings. And again, you could layer this with some of the more chunky chains or even some of the dainty chains that they sell on their website. Again, free shipping, free exchanges, and a worry-free guarantee. You can't go wrong ordering from the website. As we move into the holidays, they are offering some amazing deals for you. Time is ticking, so snake the perfect jewelry gifts on the Ana Luisa website for up to 35% off. All of the Ana Luisa jewelry comes in these really nice pouches. They are a button close. I use these a lot when I travel. I'll throw my jewelry in here. And again, you can store your jewelry in here. The little red one was where my, the pouch my ring came in. And then the bracelets, necklaces, and earrings come in these nice big green pouches. I will put a link down in the description box for you. Click that link. Take advantage of all of the specials on the website. And again, treat yourself or get the perfect holiday gift. And then my outfit for today, I'm channeling all of my inner fall vibes. It's actually a cool day for Arizona today. Let me look at my phone. It looks like our high today is going to be 66. So it's fall. It's fall in Arizona, so I wanted to channel my inner fall vibes, and my entire outfit from head to toe is from Shein. I placed an order recently with Shein because they're having some amazing deals, especially for Black Friday. Up to 90% off clothing, household, jewelry, pets, you name it, 
on the Shein website. I created a fun little reel for TikTok of all of the outfits that I picked up from Shein for fall. I'll go ahead and insert that reel here. I did go ahead and find a few Christmassy type of pieces as well, a fun pair of Christmas pajamas, and just some really nice, affordable fall pieces. So what I'm wearing today is this flannel shirt, kind of along the lines of a jacket, but not as thick. This is definitely more of a thinner flannel type material, which is perfect for Arizona. If you live in a colder climate, you could definitely layer this up with something long sleeved underneath. I'm just wearing a black bodysuit that I had purchased from Shein a few months ago. So this top actually comes in multiple different colors. I picked mine up in khaki. It's $10.49 and it's really nice quality. I will say that it is very oversized. I picked mine up in a large and I definitely needed a small. I would say size down a couple of sizes or if you're in between sizes, at least size down one size. Because mine is more oversized than I would like, I went ahead and tied it at the waist. I think it's super cute, definitely fall vibes and the material and quality of this is really nice. And then I picked up these jeans and I am obsessed with these jeans. I, I can't say that like, I can't say that enough. They're so comfortable. They're so flattering. I love the boot cut leg. I love the wash on the front. The pockets are the perfect size. So it makes your booty look nice, gives your booty a little bit of a lift and they do have some stretch in the waist. These jeans are $15 and 81 cents. That's it. I got mine in a size eight to 10 or a 30 inch waist and they fit me fantastic. I typically wear beside, between an eight and a 10 in women's and these as a 30 inch waist would equate to about a 10 and they fit great. They fit wonderful in the legs and I do like that they have that little bit of stretch so they're really comfortable to wear. And like I said, the quality and the fit and the way these look is a 10 out of a 10. This cute little thankful t-shirt is that buttery soft material. It's so cute, so comfortable. I love that buttery soft t-shirt material and that is what this top is. This top is $5.50 and I'm going to be wearing this on Thanksgiving. We are doing a turkey trot 5K with my boot camp group Thanksgiving morning. So I'm gonna wear her and rock her because she's so comfortable. I did pick this one up in a size large and it fits me perfectly. And then the other piece from the reel that I wanted to share with you because I love it so much is the plaid skirt. It is so cute, so flattering. It has a zipper up the side, so it's very, very elegant, something you could definitely wear to the office, holiday parties, and it is this soft kind of wool material. Not super thick, but just the perfect thickness, most beautiful quality. This skirt is $8.97 and actually comes in a few different color patterns. I just really like it. It's very, very flattering, sits at the perfect length, not too long, not too short. It's just really flattering, and I love it. I can't wait to wear it all fall season. I also wore the gray kind of drop shoulder shirt for my birthday. I'll pop a picture in here from my birthday. It is so cute. It has some ruching on the side. And again, it's the perfect length to wear with jeans, leggings. I actually paired it with a black skirt that I bought from Shein as well for my birthday. Super cute, super comfortable. I actually got a couple of compliments on that shirt at the restaurant. Everything you saw in that reel is really good quality. I love everything. I can't wear, wait to wear all the Christmas gear, the Christmas pajamas. The jeans are really, really nice quality. Just everything I picked up is perfect for fall and super affordable. So right now, again, Shein is having their Black Friday sale. You can save up to 90% off. All of the items that I purchased are on flash sale right now for even less expensive. And they're already inexpensive to begin with. Free shipping, free easy returns. Definitely check them out. Use the code here on the screen for that discount. I'll put all of the information down below for you. All right, we're in the car heading to do our errands for this morning. It is about 8.40 a.m. I am first up going to hit up the post office. I've got quite a bit of stuff to mail out. And then our other errands that are on our agenda, and luckily they're all in the same area in Tucson, is I need to go to Home Depot to pick up bins for decorations and air filters. And then I'm thinking I'm going to get a big heavy duty hook for our Christmas wreath. Normally we put it on our our door but we had a custom metal screen door put on our door of our house and we can't really hang anything from the metal screen door so I might get like a big hefty command hook or something like that and then I need to go to Ulta because in typical Ulta fashion I ordered this bronzer and it came completely shattered because Ulta just throws everything in an envelope 
and takes no care in making sure that it doesn't shatter. So I'm gonna stop at Ulta, which is also in the same exact complex as Home Depot. And we're gonna stop at Dutch Brothers for coffee because I have a free coffee for my birthday, which is really nice. I actually got a free Starbucks on my birthday, so I haven't used the Dutch Brothers one yet. So we're gonna grab a coffee. And then I think I'm going to stop into Ross because Ross is also in the exact same parking lot. It's actually right next door to Ulta. I may swing into Ross. I would like to pick up some more dog treats if they have some and then just kind of peek around at the holiday stuff. I really don't need any holiday decorations, but do we ever really need any holiday decorations? But I might peek around at those. Speaking of holiday decorations, I'm gonna film a decorate with me. I plan on doing our decorating for Christmas on the day after Thanksgiving, and I think I'm gonna film the whole thing. I thought it would be just really fun to show you guys me de have you guys decorate right along with me. I'll probably show you the, some of the food that I'm eating that day and just kind of make it like a holiday vlog. I'm feeling like I want to bring some holiday content this year. I did the holiday advent calendar of candles and you guys seem to really like that. So I kind of want to sprinkle in some holiday content as well. So that's the plan. I also have a 5% off discount for Target for my birthday, but I don't think I need anything at Target right now. And the discount is good for quite a while. So we may or may not go to Target. So I got my coffee and I did a 24 ounce iced Americano, four shots, sugar-free peppermint, one of my favorite holiday flavors. I know you can get peppermint year round, but in the holidays, that's when I want it. So I got that with a little tiny bit of cream, about half the cream that they normally use. So it's one point for this coffee and it's really good. And I just pulled into Ross. I think I'm going to hit up Ross first before I go to Home Depot because I need Troy to be up. He's not up yet for the day to tell me the size of the air filters I need to buy at Home Depot. And then Ulta doesn't open until 10 and it's currently 9.44 a.m. One hour later. Oh my goodness, the holiday season is in full force. I just waited in line for 41 minutes at Ross. 41 minutes. I got up to the front and I asked the checkout girl, I'm, I asked her, is this normal? Like, is Ross typically this busy? And she said, yes, but no. Apparently, apparently there's a Mexican holiday today and everybody's over from Mexico shopping because it was in Sane. Like the line wrapped around the entire store, all the way to the back, all the way around. Cheers to that. So my next stop is Home Depot, which hopefully won't be as crazy. And then a quick run into Ulta and then I'm out. I'm out of Tucson. If you didn't know, we're really close to Nogales, the Mexico border. So apparently that's why everybody's over in Tucson shopping. So, and because I stood in line for so long, I had a protein bar. So I ate my Fulfill protein bar when I was in line and then I'll eat lunch when I get home. So next stop, Home Depot. All right, Home Depot looks a little less cray cray than Ross was and I'm gonna try to get in and out of here and I'm definitely not going to Target because there's way, 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 way too many people for Target for me today. I'm, I'm kind of over it, so Home Depot. All right, Home Depot was painless. I got my two bins and six of one size of air filter, three of another, and then all my goodies from Ross. I'll do a little quick Ross haul when I get home. Okay, I just got back into the car. I did bring my water along with me and I'm going to mix in. I brought a Motivate Burn, the little stick pack with me. I need some energy to be through the rest of the shopping experience and then make it home. So I'm going to mix the Burn in with my water. I've actually been getting a ton of questions on Motivate Burn or Motivate in general. You know, this is my go-to supplement for pretty much everything. I take their creatine, their recovery, their burn. I take their turmeric gummies. I take a lot of their products. I love them. Right now they're having their Black Friday sale. So I will put all the details of the Black Friday sale here on the screen for you. And I will also put all of the details down in the description box. They're having some killer, killer, killer deals. And for burn, they have multiple options. They have multiple flavors of burn. Burn is fantastic for energy, fat burning, metabolism boost, focus. It is my go-to pick me up supplement. Not only does it give me all of those things, it also gets in my water. I drink 
I fill my 32 ounce bottle with water, put in one scoop or one pack of the Motivate Burn and it just helps me make it through my day. So they do have the Burn, which does have caffeine in it in the little stick packs and the little tubs. You guys know I have the tubs at home. They also have the Burn in capsule form. I shared that recently in a What I Eat in a Day that that's what I take typically traveling is the capsules because it's easy. I don't have to worry about trying to find water and mix it and I can just pop the capsule and get the exact same burn benefits. And then I also have the No Stim Burn, which comes in Miami Lemonade and Kiwi Strawberry. That one does not have caffeine. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, that's going to be the burn for you. I go between them both. Sometimes I want the caffeine like today, and sometimes I want just the burn benefits, the focus, the fat burning, the energy. So I'll go for the No Stim. But take advantage of their Black Friday sale. I do have a 20% discount for Motivate when there's not a sale. Right now, the Black Friday sale is a better deal. It's more percentage off. But if you use the link in the description box, it'll take you to their Black Friday sale. I'll link it directly for you and then save the information because when the Black Friday sale is over, you always get 20% off with my code. So I'm going to mix up my Motivate Burn. I have the watermelon flavor, which is one of my favorites. And let's go to Ulta. I'm adding zero today. So Ulta does not carry Wet n Wild. This particular Ulta doesn't carry Wet n Wild. And what I'm doing is a full face of Wet n Wild on my beauty channel. So I ordered that bronzer and it came shattered as you saw. Well, they don't carry it. So what I'm going to do is probably try to grab it at the grocery store, Walmart or Fry's or just skip the bronzer. Um, and also Mac is 30% off and I use their paint pot as an eyeshadow primer. They don't carry Mac in the store either. So this is why I order online. I feel like the store just doesn't have nearly everything, not even close, because they can't. They can't stock it all. So this is why I order online, but I have to remind myself, do not order powder products online because they always come completely shattered. Eyeshadow palettes, blushes, bronzers, don't do it. Just go to your regular Ulta store. Sephora does a little more care in their packaging, but not a lot. So anyways, that is it. I'm over it. It's I'm hung. It's 11.15 now, and I am ready for some lunch. So I'm going to go ahead and head home, and I'll do the little Ross haul, and we'll make some lunch. Mommy's officially home. Let's do a sweet potato treat. <gasps> sweet potatoes? I don't know if you'll like these. Oh, you do. Here you go, baby. Good job. So here's what I ended up standing in line forever at Ross for. So I bought this wreath because the wreath that we have for our front door is from Costco and it's huge and it's not gonna fit on our new door with the screen. So I got this small one, it's actually really nice and it was $12.99. And then I got some tissue paper for my giveaways and the Christmas parties that we're invited to for gifts. It was only $2.99 for this whole pack, which is a really good deal. And then I always get dog treats and these ones have really good ingredients. Ross actually has really good prices and really good quality dog treats. So these are beef sticks and then I got the chicken and cranberry sticks. These have nice clean ingredients. Don't mind my dishes. And then I got some wellness soft bites in lamb and salmon. Also really nice clean ingredients. And then I saw this brand Hardy Life Beef Grillers. So I picked those up too and then that way the dogs have some good healthy treats. And then this is my all-time favorite chocolate. This salted Tony's Chocoloni, and this was on clearance for $3.50, and it doesn't expire till February. So I grabbed that, they're little teeny discs, and they're amazing. And then I needed a couple of new baking pans for the holidays, and I really like the aesthetic of these. So I got this round one, $6.99, and then this really cute loaf pan, also only $6.99. And then for my office, I got this peppermint ca uh, candle. It smells amazing, super cute. I always have a candle burning in the background of my videos. And then I saw that they had this Yankee candle, Santa arrived, it smells like pine, it smells so good, for $9.99, which is really, really cheap. And this one was only $6.99. So that is everything from Ross, now let's have some lunch. So for lunch, I'm having the broccoli cheddar casserole that I made in my meal prep. You can, say, you can see that we've really enjoyed it, it's almost gone. It's really, really, really good. So I'm going to have a serving of this, and then I think I'm going to have some fruit. I haven't had any fruit today, so I think I'm going to have some raspberries. So here is my lunch. I have one serving of the chicken, broccoli casserole, and 100 grams of raspberries. That way I get in a good source of carbs with some fiber and a nice, clean lunch. Afternoon snack time, and I'm gonna have a protein shake. I have been kind of craving a milkshake, and this is the next best thing. So I'm going to use my Fairlife 
have chocolate milk, I use one cup. And then for protein powder, I'm using Devotion Mocha Java Chip. Devotion is one of my favorite brands of protein powder, especially for baking. Hands down the best for baking, but Mocha Java Chip just sounds really good. It reminds me of a Starbucks Frappuccino, and then you mix it with the chocolate milk. And it's amazing. So Devotion now has these little sample packs in a variety bag. Actually, let me show you. So it comes like this. You actually get recipe cards and two packets of five of their flavors. So 10 packets total, all in this nice little package. It's just a really good way to try Devotion out, find your favorite flavor, then buy the full size tub. So I'll link Devotion down below for you. I'm gonna have a Mocha Java Chip protein shake slash milkshake. current mood. We're watching a little Property Brothers. I'm going to make some dinner here in just a couple minutes. Someone's snoring real loud. For dinner tonight, I'm making the easiest, and I mean easiest, taco-inspired soup. And we're using pretty much all canned ingredients. So like I said, it's very simple, very, very affordable. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need taco seasoning, any kind of broth of your choice, canned vegetables. The recipe wanted corn. I don't have corn, but I do have peas and carrots. So I'm going to add that. A can of pinto beans. I'm going to do two cans of shredded chicken. Recipe called for one can. I'm doing two for the extra protein. A can of diced tomatoes, a can of enchilada sauce, and a can of black beans. So like I said, we're putting everything into a big pan, a big soup pan. So I'm adding my drained peas and carrots or whatever canned vegetables. You can even use frozen vegetables. A small can of enchilada sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, drained and rinsed pinto and black beans. And then like I said, I'm adding two cans of chicken just for the extra protein. I did drain the chicken. And then I'm going to use one of the cans since I have the box of broth and I'm going to add a full can of broth. And lastly, a packet of taco seasoning. We're putting her on the stove to warm it through. So I have my soup over medium heat. I'm just going to allow it to warm completely through. You guys, that is it. This is a five minute meal, which we need during the holidays. And it's packed with protein, fiber, veggies. It's going to be incredible. So let's let this warm through and then I'll show you what I'm going to top it with. So here is the soup. It is all nice and hot and warmed through. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up. I'm going to top mine with some avocado, Greek yogurt in place of sour cream because we're out of sour cream and some shredded cheese. So here is my dinner. This looks amazing. I added about a tablespoon of cheese. I added 40 grams of avocado and about a tablespoon and a half of non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm so excited for this. This is the perfect Super quick, literal five minute dinner. So dessert tonight is gonna be five, I think it's five, four. Four of the mini gingerbread people from Trader Joe's. I'm obsessed with these. When I shared my haul, I said this is the one treat I allowed myself for the holidays because I love these and they're good size. So four of them is a good amount for dessert. So this is the size of them, not with a broken foot. This is the size of them. So you get four of those and it's 150 calories. So I'm gonna enjoy a little gingerbread goodness for dessert. For joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good stuff, my outfit of the day, the Ana Luisa jewelry. Definitely check Ana Luisa out down below. Take advantage of their Black Friday sale as well as all of their other discounts. Also take advantage of Shein and of course the Motivate Black Friday sale as well. If you're in my Facebook group, I will be posting a complete list of everything I know about that's on sale for Black Friday, so stay tuned for that post. And if you're not in my Facebook group, you can find Find that down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, my recipe website, where you will find tonight's dinner recipe. Thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!